Hi guys, welcome back. Today I have another book review for you. And you guys, this book blew me away with how freaking amazing it was. It's probably gonna be in my top five books of the year. It was Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow. This book was phenomenal. I thought I would probably like it. I had no idea how much I was gonna love it. This is actually a debut novel, so incredibly impressive. It's so well done. If you're not familiar with this book, it is a sort of Snow White retelling, but it's the backstory of the Evil Queen, and it is set in ancient China. If you guys saw my video where I talked about my favorite villains, which if you didn't, I will link it up above if you want to go check it out. It's kind of interesting. But if you guys saw that, the main character in this book, Shi Fang, she is totally my kind of villain. This is an amazing retelling. It's such a good villain backstory. The setting is beautiful and vividly described. The mythology here is so rich and it's just so well done. I was really impressed. There's also always a link down below to my Goodreads account and I did a full review of this book on there, but I loved it. I loved it. It just like sucked me in and I found Shi Feng to be, let me make sure I'm pronouncing this right because I want to make sure I'm pronouncing her name right. Let me see. Shi Feng. Her name is Shi Feng. Okay. So our main character is Shi Feng and she is a peasant girl who has a lot of ambition and her aunt who raises her has always told her that she's destined to become the empress. And so we follow her as she journeys to the palace and sort of the beginnings of her rise to power and her descent into darkness. That's what this book is. You guys, it's so good. It's so good. I'm like, what do I even say about it? I was just so impressed with this. The thing that I thought was really interesting is I found Shi Feng to be incredibly relatable and maybe it's like my Slytherin heart, but I totally related to her. I understood where she was coming from. She has a young man that she loves and he is completely devoted to her, but she is ambitious and she doesn't want to just settle for a simple life and has a hard time with the idea of that and she wants more for herself and she believes that she's capable of having more and I think in some ways this is a cautionary tale of what happens when you allow ambition and vanity to overshadow the love and kindness and to come at the expense of other people because that's what starts to happen is she begins to turn her back on love and on kindness and turn towards power and ambition and dark magic where she can get the power that she craves but at what cost. And so in some ways it's the beginning of a classic tragedy. But it's interesting because even though I knew she was going to be the evil queen, I knew what this was going in. I knew that her ending couldn't end up being really good. Throughout the story I still found myself rooting for her and really hoping that she could find a way to balance ambition with love and kindness and you know find a balance there even though I knew she couldn't I wanted her to and I felt very deeply connected to her as a character. There are some really dark and at times violent things that happen especially later on in the story. It's got some creepy things, it hits the right beats, and she does a really interesting job of bringing in some things from the retelling in a way that's very fresh. I love the fact that it's set in ancient China. There's such a rich mythology that gets brought into it and it feels like there's some historic things about the empresses in China that get layered into this. I could go on and rave about it, but you guys seriously go pick this up, especially if you like good villains, if you like retellings. Lauren, I'm looking at you. You will love this book. You will be a huge fan. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's like so up your alley. Anyway, yeah, if you guys like that though, if you like retellings, even if you don't like retellings, if you like good villains and good villain backstories and rich, vivid worlds, pick up Forest of a Thousand Lanterns. It's amazing. Yeah, that's all I have to say about it. Definitely go pick it up. I was thoroughly impressed. I actually got this at the library because I thought I would like it, but I didn't know how much I would love it. But now with how much I love it, I'm thinking, 
I'm gonna have to buy a copy for myself at some point because it's incredible and I think I'm gonna end up wanting the entire series. This is the first book in a series, by the way. It ends with the sort of Snow White character being a young girl. So this is just the beginning of the story, but yeah, it's so good. It's so good, it's twisty, it's dark. I cannot recommend it enough. If that sounds at all interesting to you, please go pick it up because it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. It's going to be one of my top five books of the year, I think. I, yeah, I'm still putting together that list, but expect to see this on there. Anyway, hey, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have read Forest of a Thousand Lanterns and your thoughts on it, if you loved it as much as I did or had different thoughts. I thought this was amazing. Definitely go pick it up and check it out. I, yeah, I total five star. <laughs> obviously, I mean, obviously. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget that you can always subscribe to see more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.